When it comes to you and your retirement, wouldn't it be nice to work with the team that understands what you want? So joining me right now is Mike Douglas, the president of Life Plan Financial, designed a Lansing area firm that focuses on preparing people for a successful retirement. And Mike, you're also a popular podcast host. Welcome back into CD10. Thanks. I'm glad to be here. Yes. So it seems pretty obvious, right, that working with a team that understands your goals in retirement is something that we want. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, the, the phrase team is so important in so many areas of life. Um, you know, whether you're dealing with medical things, you want a medical team with multiple doctors and multiple specialties. And when you're working with a financial plan, there's a lot of different areas of specialty that are required, things we need to take care of. And uh, I think a lot of times we get advice on one thing. And it's like coaching one basketball player and hoping the whole team wins. Right. And so you need a team approach where you have multiple people who are helping you work towards your goals. And really, in a now it doesn't have to be like multiple firms, but making sure that someone's handling your estate plan, taxes, um, uh, how your investments work, risk mitigation, income planning for the future. There's a lot of different stuff. Mm -hmm. um, if you want to gift and be generous in the future, those are all things that need to be planned for and built. And it requires a thoughtful, comprehensive approach, not just a, hey, buy Apple stock approach. Right. right? Exactly. Because yeah, it sounds like that, uh, you know, being on the same page with your financial advisor isn't always a given, right? No, I think there's a lot of times in life, in every profession, not just yeah. financial advisors. Mm -hmm. I think it's common for us to work with someone who is a professional who really is there just to do their job. And there's not necessarily a relationship or a, a cohesion that happens. Um, and it's a transactional relationship, right? Like when I go get my oil changed, I don't plan my life out with my mechanic, right? I'm like, change the oil. And he's like, here's, give me money. And it works out really well that way. But that's the end of it. And then I leave and we don't talk again until I do my oil changed again. Mm -hmm. So that's the way that relationship works. Some industries, even professional services, financial advisors and attorneys and things, they work the same way where it's just, all right, if you want to work with me, do this, see you later. Mm -hmm. But instead, it definitely should be more of a relationship-based approach, in my opinion, because this is your life savings. It's everything you've worked hard for for the last 30, 35, 40 years. You've literally sacrificed all along the way so that one day I can use this money. And then for someone to come along and say, ah, just do this. It's what I do with everybody. It doesn't matter. You're just another number type of thing. They, mm -hmm. do, they would never say that. But, right. <laughs> but to say, yeah, just do this. I've done it forever. It'll work. Mm -hmm. it's, just, it's a little cold. And, mm -hmm. it, and it's not that it's wrong. It's just not for me. Mm -hmm. I think that there should be more of a family relationship approach that just says, you know what? Let's work on this together to make sure that the things you want to do get done. Yeah, and having that trust between everyone. Yeah. Uh, so, you know, in terms on your end, retirement, what does it look like when, you know, a prospect or a client comes to you and tells you what they're looking for? Well, it, we really generally begin with the end. We say, what do you want life to look like? And I know that people's story of what they want the future to look like generally is a result of the backstory that got them there. So your experience or your goals for the future is shaped by what you've experienced in the past. If you've been crushed in the past by the stock market, you are terrified of losing it all again. Mm -hmm. However, if you've been very successful, then you look at the opportunities ahead of you. And so when we understand people's background and their backstory, it helps understand why they want to go forward. When someone comes into me and is just panic panicking over long-term care, I know that something's gone on. What happened? Did your mom just go in? Did your aunt just go in? Well, yeah, actually my aunt just went in there. She's spending eight grand a month. Okay, well that makes sense to me. Um, when people hear our backstory with Kimberly and I about, um, we have a son, Caleb, who we had some complications through pregnancy and it was a challenging thing we went through. So when I say, I'm not gonna miss a basketball game and I'm not gonna take an evening meeting that night because my son has a basketball game. And they say, wow, you won't come meet with me? I say, well, my son had all these issues and so now he's playing basketball and I'm not gonna miss a moment. Mm -hmm. And those things matter. And in the same way, people have something what they wanna live for and if you know what you want to live for, then we can build out things to make sure you get there. Right, and, and having those conversations and background and understanding each other, I'm assuming can really help the quality of one's retirement being open and honest when you're talking to someone uh, that's looking into uh, creating a good retirement plan. Well, yeah, we want to add life to the years, not just say, well, life expectancy says 85 or 90, whatever, but it's what are you going to do in those years? You've worked at GM for 30 years. You've worked at the state or Michigan State or wherever you've worked for all these years. And now you're retired and what do you do with it? Do you just sit on the couch because you say, I'm just scared of losing or I'm scared of whatever? Or do you start living more? And so now that you have the freedom and you have the finances, let's put life in the years. And so let's go after those goals. And there's a difference in a quantity of days and a quality of life. And we're trying to create a financial quality of life that says, if you have a grandson, like my son Caleb, who's playing all these sports, you know, or it's like if you have someone like that, 
Go see those games. Yeah. Go participate in those moments. Go on vacation together. Why? Because that is the quality of retirement life. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're learning more and, and, and taking life by the, the handles as they should mm -hmm. every year. So thank you so much for that. And so for you at home, if you want to learn more about having the right team on your side for a nice quality of retirement, Mike has a great offer for you. So right now, for the first five callers with savings of $500,000 or greater, he's offering a complimentary full-blown retirement plan just for you. So this is going to allow Mike and his team to sit down with you personally and provide you with a roadmap, analyzing where you are right now and discuss your best steps to really get ready for a successful retirement. A game plan to get you where you need to be. The number to call is 517-200-3330. Again, that's 517-200-3330. And Mike, thank you again so much for stopping by and sharing all of this. Thanks for having me.